Hey guys, Chris Brown, Merseyside's fat loss expert. Okay, so Monday morning, I was checking my Facebook and I seen the amount of people that were going, oh, I had a crap sleep last night, can't sleep. And a few little people, a few people had asked and requested it to do a video on sleep and how to improve your sleep. I believe if you improve somebody's sleep, you'll actually change their life and also you'll improve their fat loss results. Okay, so why is sleep important? First of all, liver function is high during sleep. All right, so the liver will detox itself. It will detox the body and cleanse the body, which is really important, as you know. Fat is basically stored toxins. What we want to do is get the toxins out of the body and shift them and flush them out of the body. This is how we get massive fat loss results in a very short space of time. Okay, growth hormone is also released whilst sleeping. People who don't get enough sleep, the reason that they're overweight and, and very weak is because they're not getting enough growth, hor growth hormone released. If you think you're having a very short sleep, you're busy, you're active, you're taking a lot of stimulants, you're taking toxins into the system, your body's really stressed, it needs to sleep to recover. All right, if you're training on top of that, your body needs to rest, recover, and regenerate muscle tissue, all right? So if you're not producing that growth hormone, you're never going to get any of these results. Okay, how can we improve in sleep? All right, so we first of all need to bin caffeine. Caffeine's crap. It's a stimulant, which gives you high and lows. But not, not only that, more importantly, it produces, like, it increases cortisol, sorry, for around 16 to 18 hours. If your cortisol levels are really high in the evening, you're going to struggle to sleep. Cortisol is a hormone, it's a stress hormone, and early in the morning it is actually the hormone that gets us kick-started for the day. So as the sun rises, our cortisol levels should be really high. As we get to the night time, what we want is our cortisol, to co cortisol levels to come right down so that we can prepare ourselves for sleep. All right? So as the sun goes down, our cortisol levels also should dip. All right? There are supplements that you can take as well to improve your sleep. Magnesium oil is tremendous, all right? It's really good for recovery as well, but it's awesome for sleep. So you can get um, from Phil Richards Performance at UK, you can get magnesium oil, and also the magnesium relax is amazing, okay? Also a supplement called 5-HTP, so that's T, P, not a D, all right? That's a supplement, I think you can get that from um, Holland and Barrett. It stands for a really long word, but I'm not sure what it is, all right? Um, I can't pronounce it, sorry. And that is awesome for sleep as well. And another one is Tulsi tea. That's T-U-L-S-I, which is actually holy basil. That is amazing for sleep. It's honestly, it's, I had a cup last night before I went to bed. I can't even remember, remember finishing the cup. I put it down and I was asleep. I woke this morning. I had the best night's sleep ever. Those that are on my camp, you'll actually get a tea bag tomorrow. Um, some got them the other day when they were delivered, but I never got them out to everybody, so I'll actually give everybody a tea bag that's on my camp tomorrow. Um, what else? Yeah, I think if you, if you can get all these things right, then you're definitely going to make massive changes in your sleep. So you need to bin your processed foods, bin your caffeine, bin your sugar, okay? These things are going to affect your sleep. You need to produce, you need to replace them, sorry, with whole foods, good, a lot of greens, um, some good fish, good oils, so you need your omegas through your, your nuts, your seeds, your oily fish. That's really good for brain function and things. Okay. On the flip side of that, there's also things that we're doing before bed that is really affecting our sleep. Okay, so if you're on Facebook, up until the point that you're going to bed, you're never going to sleep, all right? It's stimulating the brain, it's stimulating the eye. All the flickering of the telly stimulates the brain and the eye. It actually sort of stimulates your mind and gets your mind working overtime. And trying to go to bed on this is not going to work, okay? So um, what you want to try and do before bed is create a cave, all right? So you want to try and get yourself into a dark, low-lighted room. As, as I was saying before about cortisol levels, you need your cortisol levels to reduce, all right? So we need a dim room. And we also need sort of some form of fiction is really good to read. So get yourself in a dark room read a book, doesn't do nothing work related, so don't wait, oh, sorry, don't read anything that's work related. I'm quite faulty of this a lot of the time, I'll take business books to bed, I'll take nutrition books to bed with me, and I shouldn't really do it because it just starts my mind spinning on, 
investigating these little techniques and how I can implement them in my business and also into my nutrition plan, how I can help clients. So I've stopped doing that now and I actually take some some sort of fiction novel to bed with us because that puts you in somebody else's life and it takes you away from your life and the stresses of your life and that sort of winds you down and you can start thinking about other things, all right? And yeah, get on the Tulsi Tea, it is amazing, honestly. You can get it online at www.healthstore.uk.com. I thoroughly recommend it for anybody that's struggling with sleep. If you've got any questions, then hit me up. You can email me at chrisbrownpt at gmail.com or just drop me a line on the bottom of this message and I'll help you as much as I can. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Keep tuned in. Bye-bye. Stay classy.